Hi everyone, this is another math problem tutorial. So this time, this is simplification or simplifying radicals with fraction as radicand. So we can use the, the butterfly method in elementary solving fractions. We can separate since the index we can separate um, the, the radical into two um, with fraction form numerator and denominator we can um, write it in another way so we can write it as Squared of three over the square root of two. Equals the square root of two over the square root of three. Ayan po. So by butterfly method, we multiply the numerator of the uh, left side fraction to the denominator of the right side fraction. Sorry, minus. Minus. So we have... So we have <laughs> times the square root of three. So we have the square root of 2 the square root of 2 there it goes okay. Simplify Simply Simplify So you have the next step
gitu ya the square root of 3 times the square root of 3 so we have 3 minus 2 because the square root of 2 multiplied to the square root of 2 is 2 and we have the square root of 6 baba. 2 times 3 the same on index so we can multiply the radicands Next, if you have simplified, um, again, simplify, So 3 minus 1 is 2. Three minus two is one. I'm sorry. The next step is to rationalize. So we are going to multiply to rationalize. We have to rationalize because the law on radical states that there would be no radical in the denominator. So we have to rationalize. How to rationalize, we simply multiply the Oops, sorry. We simply multiply by the square root of 6 the numerator and denominator so we have 1 times the square root of 6 so we have 6 and 6 the square root of 6 multiplied to the square root of 6 will result to of course, six po. So there you have it po. First, you have to use the butterfly method, the same butterfly method used in solving fractions in elementary or in um, grade seven. So butterfly method. Just follow the steps and it will give you the correct answer or will result to the correct answer. So the final answer is
answer. So there you have it po. Save po natin para... Ay, hindi na pala. So, ayan po. Sana'y natulungan ko po kayo. Um, I wish this video serves as a guide and helpful video para sa inyong problem sa pagsimplify ng radicals especially on subtraction of radicals with fraction as radicands. So, take note po again, bawal po ang radical sa denominator. That's why you have to rationalize uh, to get or to arrive with the correct answer. Again, bawal po ang radical sa denominator. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, and don't forget to click the notification bell for the para updated po kayo sa mga susunod ko pong videos on math problems tutorial. Maraming salamat!